Hey, what's up everyone? This is the very first time that we're doing a little picture in picture. So very first time, hey guys, you get to see my face on the video. And yeah, let me know how this works out. I think it's better. I don't know. We're going to see. A lot of people do it now. There's also no prepping. Because like, I want to go into Twitch. So beside the point, we are going to do a PvP arena matchup here. We haven't looked at the team yet. Just true. A team, you draw 10 random Solaris and 6 relics, 3 minor, 3 major. This is Moonrise, a kick-ass monster battler game. It's a 3-on-3 three -three battles, real-time combat, sort of real-time combat for those that have never seen this game before. And we have a team here. You go ahead and choose what you want for your team. See, so yeah, there's 10. They're all max level, which is currently 50. They're all semi-normalized, they're all at these uh, two-star ratings, meaning that they're approximately going to have roughly around the same stats, each different elements and such. So we'll just jump right into it here. Um, Genormous is really, really good. When you do a arena mode like this, you're giving out the Solaris, they're called, and they all have different traits. So every time you get a Genormous in the Arena Draft Mode, it's going to have this special ability here. Spirit attacks are stronger. Strength attacks are weaker. So once you play a lot of Arena, you'll actually kind of get to know what each Solari does and be prepared to counter or defend against them and also know which ones to use that you actually like. So here's Unique Skill. The Unique Skill is all the way to the far right here. It's actually pretty powerful, 42 damage, 52 second boot up, it petrifies all enemies, he has a nice defensive build, so he is the definition of a tank. Uh, we have a pod pedal, so he has the chance to stun everyone in the front line, which that's where the slurries are. The Slaries are up front, and your Warden is right behind them, who is like your Pokemon trainer, for those that are familiar to Pokemon and not familiar to Moonrise. The skills over here, so this is the boot-up time. This is how long it actually takes to start up and be able to be used. You can see each skill has a different boot-up time. And this is still a beta phase, so things are constantly changing. So you may have like certain skills that have say 11 second boot up time but in a month from now the boot up for this exact same skill could be 5 seconds or could be 15 seconds they could be changed so these are are subject to change uh, typically you want to make sure that you have guys that have 0 second boot up time so that means they can cast something right away and then the casting time takes around 4 seconds to cast unless they have passives or traits that make them uh, like speedy casters so his special ability deals more nature damage which is great because he is a nature type solari but you can see most of his skills here are actually basic type. And he only has one nature type attack. He has a nature type heal. So overall his passive skill is not really doing much. But he is a pretty good Solari. Uh, this one I really don't like. The water creatures are fairly weak. And each... Solari type is weak to two difference. So we'll probably take him out. We have Splash Pit over here, which is extremely good. This is probably the best water Solari in the game. You can see his unique skill is 10 second boot up, 24 seconds cooldown, so very, very quick, and it, it guarantees stuns the enemy front row. Uh, it only does a small amount of damage, but stun is very, very important. And his passive actually works with it. It deals more water damage. So we're going to put him on. Gains block after taking strength damage for the first time. So that's a really, really good passive to have. His unique skill right here. 25 seconds to boot up. 52 second, 52 damage. And then it also does dizzy. And it has a chance to apply chain lightning. And you can hit any target with this. So this is a very, very deadly attack right here. The Warden has around 300 or 400 HP. Uh, this is going to do roughly around 52. And then the chance to do Chain Lightning as well. 
when it says any target enemy, that means it can definitely uh, hit anyone on the field. Most targets can only hit the, the two Solari up front. Uh, so let's go ahead and just run through our first matchup here. We have Magma Star or Mag Monster. Again, any target enemy. Very, very powerful. But his passive, again, it's very, very bad. It deals more poison damage, takes less poison damage. It doesn't really do anything. He's got one poison skill and everything else is fire based. So when you are building a team and actually catching Solari that you want to train yourself, you want to really be aware of the passives and what role they actually play in your builds. So there's that. You have your team right here set up. Uh, you can slide the keys over and you'll be able to shift them. And the reason so is that when you pull them out on iOS, you have keys and you slide fingers. So you want to be like, okay, I'm going to slide out my Geonormous and my Mag Monster together at the same time to save time and not have to actually do one at a time. Um, or on Steam, you can actually push the 1, 2 key. This is 1, 2, this is 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can um, you know, select the Slurry that way. And you can also actually change the hotkeys they just added on the Steam version. So you do kind of want to set it up how you, like what Solaris you want first. You typically want to have your first two starting Solari like up front here as your number one, number two. And let's go with our direct damage build right there. We're going to try and kind of like mow down people to the face. Let's take a look at our relics now. So again, you get a choice between three major relics and you get a choice between three minor relics. So healing is not, I mean, it's not my thing. I don't like to heal. Um, it's better to be offensive, in my opinion. And the heals just kind of are pretty bad. This one is decent, but it has such a long reuse time. It's got 90 second reuse, 90 second cooldown. Uh, it also cleanses. It gives resurgence, which is good. So this, so we have two heals and we have one damage dealing skill. Typically, I would go with the damage dealing skill. 80 damage is a good amount of damage. So we can go with that, or we can try and just heal one of our Solari and be very, very tanky with that one Solari. Let's see what our other relics are down here. So we have regeneration and petrify. So this one will regenerate yourself oh it's only for the warden so it's not that helpful then we also have this lightning here chain lightning to everyone chance to apply though but it's a very quick it's a zero second boot time which is kind of rare for uh, warden skills and has a 10 second reuse so that one's actually really nice it's kind of like a little machine gun you have guard which uh, you don't really want to be guarding with your warden because if your warden dies you actually lose the fight so that's one way to lose. You either lose all of your Solari, which you have six, or you get killed. Your warden dies. So let's go over there with the machine gun lightning shot. And we can go with the roaring taunt. And let's do our first matchup here. So we are searching for anyone else that's in the queue. Or if we don't find anyone in the queue, we're actually going to be up against a AI opponent. The AI opponents are no slouch. They are no joke, guys. They're really, really tough uh, because this is a quick, fast-paced game, and they lose no time whatsoever casting their skills or you know selecting or trying to figure out what skills to you, what skills to use. So you're kind of at a disadvantage when you fight a computer opponent. Uh, granted, they aren't smart. They don't have intelligence. They don't really use strengths and weaknesses they don't de-summon solari so if you're fighting two fire guys you can th like throw out a rock type solari and that will kind of counter and you'll have the affinity advantage against those fire type solari the computer won't ever pull out the fire solari so you can manipulate the the elemental weaknesses and resistances that solaris have but even so then the speed advantage sometimes is just a little bit too much so this is computer you can notice by the second name second part of the name and you can see the game is lagging somewhat so we didn't get you know a great start so again all their skills are already queued up the little bug guy is working on his second skill already
We're going to burn the entire field. We're going to go and try and uh, straight for the warden here. His Salamandra guy is actually targeting like the wrong creature. He should be targeting my little lightning guy. Because the lightning guy is weak to uh, is weak to fire. And you can see the warden is almost dead right there. The question is, I don't know how many more direct damage attacks that we actually have in our arsenal here. And we may have just kind of like screwed ourselves because if we don't have any direct damage attacks, uh, then we can't hit the warden. Even though the warden has like a sliver of HP, there's nothing that we have here that will actually hit all enemies, it looks like. So we have a lot of skills that hit the front line. But again, nothing that hits the Warden. You can see the Warden's HP is right there underneath her name. Uh, very, very small amounts of HP left. So all we have to do is get one hit on the Warden, and it's game over. But we... Oh, there we go. We got a hit on the Warden somehow. Uh, what looked to happen is that we killed both of the Solari on the field. And since the computer had no Solari on the field, then the Warden skill that I used actually went directly to the Warden since there was no one to guard him. So that's another way to get through that type of setup. But yeah, so it looks like we made him make some changes, and I will be right back.